everybody. One something. This is Ash and joined by Enterprise and Jasmine. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hello. We're playing some more Game of Life 2. Um, we've only played the, the new map once. Yeah, so we're we, going to go back. Was it the Winter it. Wonderland or whatever it was called? No, it was Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Under the Sea. That's what it was. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Under the Sea. Play. Where do we go? Online oh, methods. That's what we do. Six three seven zero. Joining under the sea. Bum, bum, bum. Go. Sorry, first six three what? Seven zero. Okay, who am I gonna be? Oh, who's this guy? Seaweed ninja. Seaweed or man. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna change him though. You're gonna be seaweed man? No, I'm gonna be not. Okay, I'll be Seaweed Man. I like Seaweed Man. You can be Seaweed Man. And then what You're the new people? Aquaman. Since yeah. they are going to be repla Dude. replacing Jason yeah. Momoa. Yeah. Like, not even, like I, guess, I guess replacing his Aquaman, apparently it was stated that they're still going to use him in like a different role, apparently. Ugh. Ugh. It all, it all seems the, very The James strange. Gunn Disney stuff, or uh, DC stuff, like, it may end up panning out. Um, we'll see. He's got a vision. But gosh darn, if he ain't burning bridges by getting oh, rid yeah. of people's fan favorite versions of characters. Like, look, you can recast certain parts <clears throat> and people won't mind. Uh, they'll, they'll get over it because uh, those weren't the parts that they cared about anyways, right? But Henry Cavill as Superman has become so iconic <laughs> that getting rid of him can only make people angry, you know? And same with Jason Momoa. Aquaman's one of the movies that people really liked, you know? Well, I mean, uh, it's now at this point, it, they actually might legally have to pay all of those oh, big actors I bet they a do. lot of money. I bet they do. Yeah, Because they uh, destroyed their contracts. Was yeah. it Ben Affleck, Jason Momoa, and Gal Gadot are all suing because they were all promised. <laughs> and also movie. Henry Cavill, too, because, yeah. He, and they all... They wow. all turned down other roles because mm -hmm. they were exactly. prepared. So they exactly. will win. They will get that yeah. money. There's mm -hmm. no question. Because it's in their contracts. The contracts are ironclad, you know? Regardless, yeah. like, it sucks. It sucks what's happening to them. And, like, genuinely, I did yeah. like all of them in those roles. But, like, I do think that, like, what um, James Gunn is doing has. Anna, are you ready? Oh, did I not press? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I thought I, I pressed ready. <laughs> I do think that what James Gunn is doing is has been needed for DC for a while just to like kind of like fresh slate clear the board and then come in with like a cohesive vision but what's strange to me is that they're not doing that with the Joker too <laughs> Like, well, the Joker like, really uh, very separate resonated and with a lot of uh, certain. Uh, I don't like that. Uh -huh. But it's like the the whole reasoning for canceling these three is just like we need to clear the board, and it's like what about this one? Eh, unrelated. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Though I I would argue that it is actually unrelated. It's like that's barely a DC movie. It's just kind of uh, happens to be related to DC, but. I don't think they ever had plans of Joaquin Phoenix showing up in any other superhero movies. Um, but I, well, will I, get, say, I, getting... I get that I get that it's not part of like the tied together cinematic universe. But I guess mm. what I'm saying is that like what DC needs is a cinematic universe where all the movies are tied together, and so having one that is clearly a Batman thing mm -hmm. and not being tied in is still a problem. You're talking about the Spider-Man problem we had for a while. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we've we Marvel's dealt with that problem. X-Men for the longest time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I get it, I guess. You know, the first one won Oscars, right? So they're not gonna turn that down. That's true. Yeah. Um hmm. Taylor. But that said, I get why they brought James Gunn in, because with Guardians, he knows how to do the whole shared universe. How do I get people Ooh. hyped for a character that's going to be in some other movie? Um, which they didn't do a good job of in Zack Snyder's DC-verse. It almost felt like they forced it with Batman vs. Superman. Agreed. I'm curious... <laughs> I guess uh, I'm curious tonality-wise, and this will probably very director to director mm -hmm. but whether or not we're going to get more 
kind of quirky humor Guardians of the Galaxy James Gunn or whether or not we're going to get more we're going to literally see people's faces blown off yeah. Suicide Squad James It's going to be both <laughs> <laughs> Although I get what you mean Is it going to be basically is it going to be R-rated or PG-13 Exactly and if it is going to be the more I'm seeing people's faces blown off I'm probably not going to watch them Yeah um, well I also don't have any real trust with WB anymore the fact they, that they yeah. seem to want to be like are perfectly fine scorching the earth to basically reduce their bottom line yeah let's get rid of like, all of the classic hbo shows let's let's completely scrap you know batgirl even though that was completely Ugh, finished it was done Why and is- uh, i i just don't have any trust at all for yeah. um, even if we don't have that kind of trust, I'm wondering what kind of talent they can even hire because if we don't have that kind of trust, I have to imagine most actors and actresses and, and other pr- production people are not going to have that kind of They're trust. They're going to have to roll out the Brinks trucks, as people say. They're going to have yeah. to pay people a lot more than they should, or at least would, um, because you're right. Or they're, at least they're going to have contracts. They're going to be a lot more solid not only mm-hmm. after the dc stuff of everybody like henry cavill and all of them getting fired mm-hmm. but just with seeing how they're approaching things knowing that there's a good chance that anything that they have with royalties uh, with residuals or yeah. residuals would be uh, completely Worthless. removed from all catalogs mm-hmm. at some point and suddenly you can't collect anything on it which was what you were planning on doing as part of your um, compensation you know spiritual leader ash oh. yeah. you took my job Join Rude. my aquaticism religion. Is it the Church of Momoa? Are you, are you praying <laughs> that he'll return to the only, deeps? Yeah. Well, Ash is already hope. in the hole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he oh bought my man. tapes, my uh, my tapes on like a set of tapes on how mm, to be your own spiritual cage leader. Wisdom? It was yeah, some cage wisdom. What is, what is your church called? Uh, I can't remember what it was, but I remember being very rich at the end of the last game. <laughs> That's true, you were. <laughs> <sighs> oh man! Oh Ash, here you go. I love that. You're like, I don't <laughs> even know money. what the here religion is. Here you go, a little seed money. Oh. It'll come back. <laughs> I don't even know anything about this religion. I just know that it brings in the bank. That's all you need to know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a money making machine. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No. <gasps> tangented so hard on on DC stuff. Um. Yeah, I mean, I could go on for days if you really want it, but I don't think you want that. (laughs) Oh, look at the little sharky. I like the clownfish with glasses. It's cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a good school. It's a good school. Oh, I'm gonna trade them conches, y'all. I got the best conches. Hey, look, you put it to your ear, you can I hear the land. your biggest conscious, please. <laughs> <laughs> conch <cellar. laughs> Oh, man. I need your strongest conch shell, please. You can't handle my conches. <laughs> you can't handle my conches? Oh, goodness. My goodness. But what if I could? Ah. Hmm. But where did the lighter fluid come from? It's true. So, Price, you're doing your, like, 17th run of, uh... Shadow of War. of the Rings. Shadow of War, yeah. Uh, yeah. Correction, I finished it today. <laughs> Did oh you? My yeah. god. Oh my god. I mean, it's, yeah. like, it's one of those ones where it's like, at this point, it's like, clockwork. Like, I do, I, I was telling you earlier, Ash, I do, something new happens every time I play it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, it's it was the same this time. I, um... I saw, I, I... Almost died, and then one of my guys jumped in and saved my life, which is always fun. That's always a fun thing to happen. <laughs> and then he grabbed the guy and threw him into lava, and the guy just blew, uh, just like blew up into flames. And I don't think I'd ever seen someone intentionally burn someone alive in that game uh, in such a fashion. So <laughs> it was it was pretty uh, pretty intense. Sounds nice. intense. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great game still. I will play it again. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's, that's one of those things where they really need to loosen up on the copyright that they have on the Nemesis system because it is so neat. I would love to see other games. If they don't use it, it in something else, I think you shouldn't... I, I, this is one of those things where I don't know the specifics of it and people are going to like make fun of me in, in the uh, comments. But I'd be like, A, if you own a patent and you're not using it, you lose the patent. I just think that that should be the case. <laughs> B, I, I kind of don't think patents should be a thing. I just think, you know, we as a society should, like, 
invest in people's growth and then also make sure that people have a good standard of living. So if you invent something, it goes to the greater good. And then, you know, you're compensated because you're, you're a part of, you know, the society that takes care of you. Well, like, uh, I, think, I think that is the way that patents work, because if you're not using it, then it... Uh, after it, a time, it, you, but... You lose the patent. No. The thing is, with games, as long as it's being it's sold, sold, I think they're using it. That's Well, that's what they would say. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, that's the thing, is, like, they have this system. And, and I honestly think... I've read some things about it that, like, actually it would be incredibly difficult for them to um, uphold the patent unless in very specific circumstances where you used every single aspect of the nemesis system. Yeah. And so it really does feel like it's one of those things in gaming where you could just do a skin swap, sure. change the names of things and how they're presented, and you could still do it. But I think and a lot like, of people just don't even want to you know, mess around with that. Assassin's Creed Odyssey did like something yeah, kind Sorry, of Anna. akin. Like it wasn't, did you it take wasn't... my money? I did. I got married. Well, that's how fine. dare you? How dare you? How dare yeah. you married, married, married? Maybe I might pay you back. Married? No, <laughs> I didn't. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. but yeah, I would. I just would love more games with the Nemesis system. It's an incredible system, and like it adds this level of unique character to your game. Your game's going to be different from your friend's game, just because of the way that your Nemesis uh, characters like randomize. Yeah, and I was thinking about it the other day. The I feel like the the developers of that game, Monolith, they've mm -hmm. always been very good at making AI NPCs in their games memorable in some way. So mm -hmm. like before they did these uh, oh, Lord of the Rings, Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor games, um, they did Fear, um, which oh, yeah. I think for those of y'all out there that were not uh, old enough to play Fear when it first came out, the first Fear anyway was like universally praised for having some of the most interesting and amazing AI. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. The AI would always, like, duck behind corners and know how to protect itself very well. Which was new. Um, Definitely new at the time. Yeah. Before that, they did the No One Lives Forever games, which I still love, and I wish that they would remake those. Yeah, those are neat. And they did, um, they did a game called Shogo very early on, which was all about, like, being a, a, a mech pilot, and it had, like, kind of an, an anime style to it, and me and... Me and my weeby friend Ben would were very into that that game. Hmm. Are you staying single? Yeah, I'm going at it alone to get what? all tens. Huh? All tens. I'm just gonna keep going. Just zooming on through life. It's just life Great. this time. Yep. Race into the finish line, huh? Apparently. Reveal my fate. <laughs> Taxes. Taxes. You're one of those die young and leave a pretty corpse people. Not even. I'm going to look at this. This is not going as well as I wanted it. <laughs> it's from roll two. I can tell we're not we're not doing well. Not in a good spot. We're not no. in a good spot, y'all. Maybe in the I mean, second half. You're supposed to be like living vicariously through this game of uh, planning our cruise experiences. Like, yeah. Yeah, y'all. You're going to a cruise within less than a week. Exactly. And we're, this, uh, there's this so is all, much to do. This is all ocean themed. We got to be thinking about what we're cruising, what our cruise life is going to yeah. be through this game. It's going to be great. It's, it's but you're you're be just fantastic. gutting it, Anna. You're just zooming through. Zoom. Listen, I'm I'm gutting through this game so I can get to my real life cruise faster. That's what it is, right? Yep. That's how yep. that works. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think. That's how, it goes. That's how it goes. And then we get on the cruise, and you're just gunning it through the cruise as well. I don't. What is? What does that even look like? Uh, I don't know. I just imagine that that means that cruising you're cruising at just, high, uh, you're, high you're, efficiency. You're cruising <laughs> with mimosas, basically the whole oh, time. Oh yeah, that's gonna <laughs> be like the second we get on the ship. I'll be like, I need a drink. I got a drink package. Let's and go. Is that, and it's not gonna remember anything from the cruise. <laughs> that's why <laughs> we're recording it. Nice. And I was gonna speed run the cruise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> speed run strats. How do you even do that? No, no, no. In order know, to get both of these cocktails. Clip yeah. I'll clip through a wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, she's outside of the ship. How did this happen? <laughs> you're, you're climbing along the outside so that you can take a shortcut to the next bar. Mm -hmm. She unlocked oh, the, the unlimited money glitch. Stop her. <laughs> <laughs> She's bought way too many things. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> she has too many ascots. She oh, must man. be stopped. Oh, my God. I need an ascot. That would be amazing. Two tens in a row? Everyone's Jeez. dropping tens. Yeah. My goodness. 
Oh, that's fine. Well, I get yeah, a house. Looks, yeah, looks like we're gonna just zoom right through this one. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Listen, got I got places Ooh, to go. The condo or the overlook? The Ooh, overlook. There you go. <gasps> Look at my beautiful home, Anna. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Invite me over. I provided Jeff, the conches. How does know. that little submarine expand? Have we seen that one expand mm, before? I can't I remember. Know. It probably comes into like a long submarine, right? A yellow submarine? Like a yellow submarine. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Go, is there, I'm a little speed racer. Is there anything else we need for the cruise that we haven't bought yet, y'all? I mean, I bought like four new things on Amazon today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I... I have like a list of things that I'm like, okay, hair things. I need some... Do you have a floppy hat? A floppy hat? Why would I need a hat? For the sun, Anna, you're gonna get burned. I don't oh. wear hats. You're you're too fair to be out in the sun. All day. Yeah, that's why I have a parasol. <laughs> Are you bringing your parasol? I don't want to bring my parasol. That has a lot of meaning. That's why to you me. need the floppy hat. I'm not wearing a floppy hat. I look horrible <laughs> in hats. You have a tiny head. Just put on a hat. <laughs> and you want to wear beanies all the time. Yeah, but yeah. I guess I can't and wear a beanie. Bring back the bucket hat look, okay? Yeah, I was gonna say, the bucket <laughs> hat would actually be the perfect thing for it. Okay, I'm looking up cruise hats now. There you Thank go. you. Oh, or oh you get one of those... okay. Okay, there is a wide brim hat, wide yeah. brim hat that says ship faced. You oh know my God. I like a good pun. <laughs> oh, no. Anna, do you remember the hat that the main character in Sandlot wears that's just like a normal baseball cap but very long? I yeah. feel like that's what you need. <laughs> You looked really cute when you were boy CEO. What was I wearing as boy CEO? You were wearing that 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 uh, hat that Ash gave you. It was like oh, a yeah, baseball hat. Oh yeah, the baseball hat. hat. No, I don't look. No, that was. You lucky. looked really cute. You were like super cute in the uh, braids. Should I get boy one of those CEO. giants, like those giant hats? Yeah, a do it. Floppy hat. Yeah, get what a giant I, floppy hat. That's what, what we're look, talking about. A big giant what if floppy I look hat. Look bad in it though. You will uh, not look bad in it. You look amazing in everything. No, Listen, that's legitimately, not true. Anna, everyone that's wearing that hat is looking equally bad on the cruise. Huh? You're long, even ground. Ten there. again. What? Okay, but I've got color choices now. Hmm. How, how about pun choices? Ooh, there oh, is that's a already pink there. One. Ship faced. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's finally slowing down. Hey, Anna, that thanks. should have been the name of our travel channel. Ship faced. That is oh, pretty good. That no. is pretty good. <laughs> you guys, well, you guys messed up. <laughs> you done goofed. You well. done did a goof. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. Get to see what baby. Is. Surprise, baby. Come to me. Oh, look at the turtles. Come to me, Papa. They're so cute. And then look at the shell in the background. There was right. definitely yeah, a shredder. It's like a <laughs> Koopa Troopa shell. It was, um, what is the name? Toka? It was Toka and oh, Razor from it. the yeah. Secret of the, or, uh, it's not Secret of the Use, is it? That's the first one. No, actually, no, I think that is that one. Is yeah. it? Okay. Okay, but I could the also to make Toka and yeah. Razor. Yeah, 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 that's true. The I could also the buy eight captain's hats. No. For a deal, then we can all have one on the ship. We already have them. captain hats from that one game. That's true. Really. That's true. Oh right! Yeah, oh my, my gosh! Uh, I gave that to my uh, nephew for Christmas. That's adorable. <laughs> Just for a little dress up, you know? Dress up yeah. as a little captain. Oh, it's my You're turn. Up, Anna. Sorry, I'll stop looking at floppy hats. Hmm. Not that I've given up entirely on this game. There you go, Price. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I just gave some to you. You gave back to me. So we're laundering. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm not even good enough laundering. to launder in this game. Yeah. You were just like, you're the head of the laundering operation. I just do what you tell me to do. Well, I was going to say, you're the Shadow yeah, Wall Waters yeah. Explorer, right? <laughs> so I send you out. You go find some stuff. I pay you for it, all right? And then I pay you back in services, i.e. you get some conscious. All right, yeah. everybody loves some conscious. <laughs> I do like some conscious. You know? That's what that's what I say about me. Conscious. Conscious are basically like speakers, like a surround sound system kind of mm -hmm. thing. You know, Is you that? put your ear up to it and you hear uh, the ocean kind of thing. They're like the car toys of the sea. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> conch toys. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! Man. My goodness. What if they're like MP3 players though? Like maybe each conch has a different song on it. Yeah, well, different sizes play different tunes. Oh for my sure. god, it's for like sure. those early MP3 players that only were loaded with one the song. Snap yep. clips or whatever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. 
gosh, people nowadays, y'all. Oh my God. With your okay. Spotify's and your streaming music. So you have Even no idea what it used to be like. The suffering. I still oh. wish I have my iPod still. I love my iPod though. That was amazing. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the but old mine's somewhere. Mine's hiding somewhere. Mine, yeah. Actually, I have a drawer of old electronics that I just haven't Never got, get rid given of. Away. Yeah, they've got like too many memories. Like I've got my little, the mini, the iPod mini that's paying to. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, got yeah. my OG iPod. I have all my CDs in that drawer that I refuse to give up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, well, eventually I can, CDs will come back. They'll be retro at some point. Yeah, yeah. Just like records. Um, well, okay. right now, cassette tapes. There's a lot of bands gonna, and whatnot yeah. that make cassette yeah, tapes someone, now. Someone was telling me that cassette tapes are coming back, and that has, there's no reason. In my that opinion. was me. I told there's you not. that. There's not. Like, it's 100% for there, nostalgia, yeah. vintage There is a type genuine, of like, I can understand oh, the analog guess. reason. Not bad. Uh, not bad. I, I was I thinking about doing that first one. I can understand the analog reason for wanting vinyl. There is a genuine reason for that. Mm. But for cassette, mm -hmm. no. Yeah, it's just right. digital on a poor right position. <laughs> it's it? digital, but can degrade faster. I was just—I'm not even sure it's digital. It's just like poor it's, quality it's, analog. It's no, sure. it's it's not analog. It's it, it, tape still is uh, digital in fashion. The way that it records music, mm. um, like the ribbon tape. It's just that we don't call it digital because it's on tape. But I would say a vinyl. That's analog. Oh, sorry. I need to be doing this. Um, a vinyl's analog because, yeah, it was oh, yeah. like just taken from the air, essentially. Nothing converted it. But the... Oh, my gosh. I'm just giving money away to Anna. Um, Thank you. The conversion process to cassette essentially is digital. Uh, that's one of those things that they, they tell you in the Magnus archives. So that's why I know. Uh, there's a whole Ooh, thing about that. it. So I, I thought that they were analog. That could be um, do, do, do. <laughs> it's according to Wikipedia married. anyway. It's an analog magnetic tape. Yeah, but like the format of hold on, it's this is one of those like, you know, what what's going on? I already I did it. I keep on having to roll more. That's what happens when you get married. Keep, keep rolling. So, magnetic recording techniques are the most common way of recording signals, but the encoding method is digital. It relies on the imposition of a magnetic field derived from an electrical signal, which is susceptibility to becoming magnetized. So, essentially, it is digital in that the components of it are broken into components, rather than analog, which is like... A signal. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. it's uninterrupted, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not compressed. Audiobook. But it is one of those things that's kind of like I, I'm I'm splitting hairs here. Yes. Yeah. I'm being a snob. But it's also a fun, fascinating thing to learn. I thought it was bonkers when I learned it. I always thought that tape was analog. And like, yeah, certainly I definitely always thought that it was analog for um for audio cassette. For like visual cassettes, there is a range. Um the mm. VHS, for example, is analog. Um, whereas there became digital versions of them eventually. Mm, mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, so close to paying myself. You know what I'm going to do? Mm. Go I'm, risky. Ooh, go risky. I'm reading about it now, and it actually does sound like early tape. I, I love that we can play this and I can just look up stuff. Early tape was analog, and then mm. more modern forms of tape became digital. Mm. Um, in the 90s, it looks like. I wonder what what uh, version ah. mine is that I bought uh, Green Day Dookie. That's yeah, that's the thing is I'm wondering now. I'm like, owned. when was the switch, and di could we notice the, even the, f exactly. the first the first album I ever owned was that cassette tape of Green Day Dookie. Um, <laughs> No, oh man, curious. that was that was early '90s as well. Yeah, I never. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I. Oh no, um, I didn't own cassettes. I didn't listen to music until like like on my own mm. until like junior you didn't high have? and stuff. No, that's what I kids. kids that's box. what I kids box. Kid box or like that's what I call music now. <gasps> I landed on me. <laughs> Uh, I did not. Uh, not the cassette versions anyways. But when I, when I started listening to music, CDs were a thing. Though probably like a newer thing. 
Yeah. And then I Price had like the so uh, the one MP3 MP3 player with like Britney Spears Toxic on it. <laughs> yeah, well, who did it? I wish. <laughs> wish. No, uh, I did. My first album was Spice Girls. This is the first Spice Girls album. Uh, okay. Love, love that CD. Oh, cool. It's so good. Is that Spice World? Just Spice, I think is what it's called. Or just okay. Spice Girls. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's just called Spice. There you go, okay. Price. I paid you back. Thank We're you. Even now. Good, because the tax man just wrecked me. Yeah. <laughs> I need to spend $6.35. I'm going to learn oh. another language. Do it. Do it. All right, Anna, what was your first album that you ever owned? Um, the first, the first CD, right? The first CD that I ever owned was my cousin got me a Hootie and the Blowfish CD. Yeah. <laughs> nice, but nice. Here's the thing. I didn't have a CD player until five years later. <laughs> so, and so was, so you didn't have nice. cassettes. You weren't a cassette nice. kid. I had, no, I had a cassette. Okay. Because that's yeah. my first, it doesn't have to be your first CD. Just whatever oh. was you in your You specifically said CD that, though, Ash. Yeah. No, I said album. So what was the first album you ever owned? Oh gosh, my first album was Real McCoy. It's like Europop. They had oh, like God. Another ah. Night was their hit song and I loved it. Oh all yeah, of that's them. a good song, yeah. Oh, I love that. That was like my first my first tape that I had. Ooh. I listened to that and Garth Brooks. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and well, I don't know, maybe my my Christian rap was the first Tape I ever had. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. There's yeah. a. Those of you that used to be in the faith or still are in, of the faith, uh, I listened to a lot of Christian music back in the day because I was. Whoa, you're already done, Jess? Almost. Jeez, the uh, zooming in that submarine. Yeah. Because I was pretty Christian as a child, and the group that I was in love with was DC Talk. They were Christian rap. Okay, oh, they sorry. sound like a radio show host. They do. I, I probably, ah. if I listened to it again, I would probably ha hang my head in shame and be like, oh God. But you I listen to a <laughs> lot of Christian music. Yeah. Um, my, besides, I think, because I think I got them around the same time. <laughs> besides Green Day Dookie, my other first album was uh, MC Hammer's first album. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great stuff. Classic stuff. Too legit. To quit. To quit. To quit. There you go, Jazz. Thank you. Have, have more of my money that not that you need it. You're already richer than me. I too can make you rich with five easy payments. <gasps> go on a cruise, say less. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what is it? We haven't even gone on our first cruise yet, and last night Anna was just DMing me all these new cruises to go on next year. I did. You know why? Because like like I said, the best time to book your next cruise is when you're on the cruise because it's super cheap. <laughs> so I'm just I was like and like it was New Year's and Ash and I were talking about cruises like we do. Like you do. Like we do. It doesn't even have to be New Year's. And I was just talking about how like I should just take a vacation every time it's like winter because then it gives me something cool to look forward to. It sort of helps with the seasonal depression. I was like, my therapist recommended it to me that I should always have a winter vacation. So you know what? What if my winter vacation is just a cruise every year? <laughs> I mean, there you go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I prefer that. Then I can have a good Do excuse why I don't need to do stuff. Doctor prescribed cruises. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, can I get that in like on a doctor's note, please? You're getting drinks at the bar on the cruise and you just pull out your doctor's um, note? Yeah. You're like, you can bill my insurance. Uh, excuse me, uh, ma'am, I, I think you've had enough. I said hit me and so did my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, can oh, I, man. like, go on a, uh... What, what's, what's the other one where you collect I icons, but... Icons? I think you guys are too close. So I can get crowns. What's it called? Oh, bucket oh, list. oh, oh, bucket list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but thought we were still talking about the cruise. The I yeah, thought no, we were no. still talking about the cruise. Yeah. Was... Le legit, in my head, I was like, are you talking about, like, the souvenir spoons, Jazz? Do you no, want to, like, no, collect different stuff? <laughs> talking I was about to get out. <laughs> talking about it. You guys are so close, it wouldn't have mattered. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, what's going to be our souvenir spoon thing? What do we need to collect from the cruises? Ash, Anna? quit making me pay you money. Um, what do we need? 
to collect nothing. I don't want to buy anything that's collect not going to be collect memories. Yeah, I'll collect memories. You collect floppy hats. I don't want to collect floppy hats. But you have to. No. It's the only way to succeed. Let me see. Uh, Princess Cruise souvenirs. They have these weird, like, little bear figurines, which I didn't even realize was Princess Cruise's mascot. Um, a bear? Yeah, it's like a little bear. Have you no, not seen I, that in it? No. Oh, no. yeah. There's Stanley. Gonna be Stanley Bear. Stanley the Bear. Stanley the Bear. Mm-hmm. I think on on what do you whatever the first the first ship off day, um, there's gonna be a person dressed up as this bear, Anna. Well, I'm not <laughs> looking forward to that. <laughs> you gotta dance around with the bear, Anna. Mm. Dance with the bear. Listen, Boy King CEO stands alone. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, Chris, I didn't realize didn't you changed. I didn't realize you changed careers. Oh no, you didn't. No, that I didn't. Was Anna. No, that I didn't. Was Anna. It was I'm me. I'm a concentrator, yeah. and I will never stop conching it up. I don't even know what I am anymore. Unconscionable, Price. No, I was just no. about to say that to you. I was just about to say that to you. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I know what I'm gonna spend ridiculous money on. I know that mm. I am low in every category. Like. I will lose this. Ash, do you have two crowns? Ash mm-hmm. might win. Yeah, I mean, it's between Ash and Jazzy? I have no idea how much money I have. Yeah, I think this to... is Ash's game. Ash is in a really good position. Yeah, he is. You got all them crowns. And you held yeah, on yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, no. With those crowns, you're going to win yeah. for sure, Ash. Mm. Anna. Hmm. Keep getting ones. Okay. And crush Ash. All right. I figured you wouldn't have a problem. I w- I won't. Oh, I won't that's... have a problem. Oh, that counted? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On my screen, it went. It just moved. It didn't spin. It just was like... <laughs> Alright, let's see. That's not a one, I'm sorry. I can't believe you've done this. Alright. Snail Sorry, farm. snail farm! Always! Next round. All right, big money. Big money, ah. McFinney, no whammies. Stop. No whammies. There you go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Surprise! You've also been playing the Vampire Survivors on your phone. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I prefer it on PC, I'll be honest. But it works really well. I mean, yeah. I, I can't knock it. If you haven't played Vampire Survivors and all, the only way you can access it is, you know, through mobile, do it. I mean, you're gonna understand it, um, the, how it would play elsewise. So, um, yeah, it's great. It's it's a really good port. Nice. Yeah. Now it's I need to try out uh, Slay the Spire, which I also have heard is on mobile. Oh, so. is it? Yeah. I, I actually didn't realize that. One well, thing that I like about Vampires Forever is that I really don't like playing mobile games uh, when, with my phone horizontally. I really mm-hmm. just like mm-hmm. vertical phone games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Vampire Survivors did it that way, but as Price, you mentioned out, it makes it very hard to see what's coming at you. On yeah, the the it's a little... They, they do a thing where kind of the space where you're actually in that you can see is almost like a box. It's almost square. Mm-hmm. And then there's these bars, you know, almost like cinematic bars at top and bottom that are kind of, they're, you know, 50% opacity or something like that. Mm. So um, you can kind of see what's coming at you, but they still want you to focus on that middle zone. Um, mm-hmm. And so I think that's why it works because they isolate it into the center mostly. Um, because otherwise, yeah, it is ah. it is still difficult on, like like you said last time we were talking, the library, which is an entirely horizontal level, and right. to have less visible space, is it's definitely tricky. Yeah. On the flip side, there's a level that's all vertical, so that one, that's the one. That's that's the that's the real money. That's the that's survivors. the money beat. That's the <laughs> that's the money beat right there. Yeah. What you got, Anna? You got any out. floppy hats, Anna? 
I am buying a floppy hat. Oh, you are now. You were so against it moments ago. I found a pink one. Okay. So, you know. <laughs> now, is it child size, though? That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Just get not. the smallest. Yeah, yeah, it might be too There's, floppy it's, for you. It's only on one, in one size, so... But I think it's like one of those ones that are made in Asia, so maybe I'll get lucky that it'll fit my head. The game is over! Yay! This octopus in the background is so unenthused. He's very <laughs> unimpressed about everything. Where are we going here? Yeah, Ash has definitely got this. Yeah. Because he's got it, 800 extra points yeah, now. In, yeah. in every... From every aspect. Ash, what have you yes. done? What, what, why have you done this? Uh, you know what I did? I didn't get into the conches. You stayed mm -mm. out of the conch business, and that was pretty good. Look, I'll, I'll be honest, it was I a told pyramid you. scheme. I'll be Being honest. Being a spiritual it was, leader is the way to win. It was a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's like, good job, you, Ash. You were selling your conches to Anna. Anna was trying to sell her conches mm -hmm. to, like, to those conches to, like, two other friends. But really, it was just Anna buying all your conches. Well, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. at some point along there, I lost my conscience. Ah! Oh, yeah. Unconscionable. <laughs> Inconscionable. <laughs> Hey, I got a puzzle piece. Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> Boo. Hey, I got another puzzle piece. Boo earns. Yeah, I got puzzle pieces too. Yay. Okay, cool. <gasps> All right, y'all. That has been another game of life. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you haven't seen our other episodes, be sure to check those out. We got a whole bunch more episodes for you to watch. Um, anyway, y'all, with that, we've been stumped. I've been Ashron by Enterprise and Jasmine. We'll catch you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.